guys, Dr. Andy here. Uh, today I want to show you dry needling for plantar fasciitis, okay? This is really, really common with all of our runners. We keep seeing this over and over again, okay? So if you've got plantar fasciitis, it is pain at the very bottom of the foot, pretty darn close towards your heel or kind of towards the center. Um, and if you watched any of our other videos, then you're going to know this is uh, primarily being caused by tons of tension down here in your calves going through your Achilles tendon and then along into the very bottom of the foot, which is where your plantar fascia is. So most of the time, if you've got pain right here, if we're doing our eval on you during your new patient exam, we're gonna find some issues with the joints here, some definitely some tightness into the fascia, but we are absolutely going to find some tension up here in the calves, all right? So this is your gastroc and this is your soleus muscles. Um, and if we only work down here on your fascia and we ignore the problem up here in your quad, it is not going to get any better. So we gotta do the entire thing. We gotta work on your quad, down into the Achilles, and then into the bottom of the foot as well, all right? Um, so dry needling, it's like acupuncture. We re we're using acupuncture needles. Um, some, of the, some of the spots are even the same, uh, but what we're kind of doing is, or describing what we're doing is a little bit differently, okay? So when we're using needles, especially for pain for the musculoskeletal system, what we're trying to do is uh, reduce muscle spasms. We're trying to increase healing or increase the speed of healing. We do that by increasing blood flow to the area, and it's also very successful at reducing pain. All right, so we're gonna do a couple. Remember, we're, tack we're tacking up here into the calf. Uh, the, the muscle on top is the gastrocnemius, and then we have a muscle right underneath that. It's a flat muscle underneath, down and through here, uh, and that is your soleus muscle, all right? And we're gonna do a diamond shape right through here, all right? So let's start at the top, and it's quite simple. Just a little push, and we're done. Connor, how does that feel? Connor, how'd that feel? Good. Good. <laughs> All right. All right. Perfect. It's not a biggie. It's not like you're getting a shot or anything like that. These are tiny little needles, about the size of a human hair. Oops. There we go. Those four needles are good for the, the calf muscles itself, as I said, the gastrocnemius and underneath the soleus. Uh, but then we have to attack two other points. We're gonna attack, as I was saying, the Achilles and then the bottom of the foot as well. So when we get the Achilles, we're just doing two little ones right down here where the Achilles meets the heel. What this is gonna do is it's going to help with some of the tightness from the Achilles down into the heel and any inflammation that's being caused in through this area as well. Remember, it's speeding up blood flow, so we're gonna heal a lot faster through this area as well. Uh, the one I'm not gonna do, because uh, it's hard for you guys to see, is this actually one right into the very bottom of the foot. Um, that one sometimes can be a little tender, uh, so we use ethyl chloride. Uh, it's what the doctor uses to, or any other doctor uses before they might give you a shot um, to make the area very, very cold. It numbs the area. Um, so you're not going to feel any discomfort, okay? So we got a couple up in the up in the, the calf muscles, we got them in the Achilles, and then we do one last one in the very bottom of the foot, right into that plantar fascia, um, and we start to feel, start to see some differences pretty darn quick, all right? Um, so that's what we do for the actual muscular issues and the soft tissue problems of plantar fasciitis. Uh, we've had a lot of success with it, so hopefully you're not dealing with it, but if you are, um, give us a call and we'll do a good eval and we'll do some good treatment on you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just send them my way and always remember to live with passion, not pain.